With rising gas prices, criminals are getting creative. Thieves stole more than $1,000 worth of fuel from a gas station in High Point. WXI 12's Ward Hatchet got a look at the surveillance video to determine how the thieves were able to get away with 400 gallons of gas. As gas prices continue to soar, fuel thefts are on the rise across the country. Something Busy Bee Grocery here in High Point found out the hard way. Well, I got a call around 11, 15-ish from the police department saying that some customer had saying that you have some problem with the, your gas pumps and there was a lot of cars in your parking lot. I told him it's going to take me about 15 minutes to get there and by the time I got here by 11.30ish, there was a three police car were here. Busy Bee owner Hardik Patel says the store normally closes at 10 but leaves the pumps on. He and police looked over surveillance video and were stunned by how many cars appeared. 10.25 to about 11.15, we saw about 15 plus cars are filling up the gas. Video shows the first car arriving and pointing something like a remote control at a pump before pumping his gas. Then he waits in the parking lot and directs more and more cars to the pump. The machine bypassed the pump's payment system, allowing dozens of cars to pump gas for free, stealing more than $1,600 worth of fuel. Plug like remote control. They bypass the pump. Once they bypass it, they don't know how to do nothing. Lift the nozzle up, choose the grid, they can start filling. And it doesn't stop. You can fill up as much as you want. And we end up finding out about 398 gallon to be exact from the tech. Patel is now turning off his pumps at night, determining the extra couple of customers isn't worth the potential to lose thousands. But despite the loss of money, Patel is staying positive. Yeah, that's definitely, yeah. Nobody got hurt, nothing, so I'm glad for that. High Point Police say this is still an ongoing investigation, and anyone with information is encouraged to call them. In High Point, Fort Hatchet, WXAI, 12 News.